it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and 14 years ago, around 14 years ago, I reviewed a bottle of Thirsty Ferret and this used to be an outside area. So if you have a look at the first review 14 years ago, you will see just a garden wall here, a couple of chairs and me sat outside reviewing Thirsty Ferret on a nice spring day. Fast forward 14 years, conservatory roof on, doors there, turned it into a little bit of a bar area. It's funny, time, time's a funny thing in it. So there is the Thirsty Ferret, it's Badger Brewery, Dorset Brewers. The first ever beer review I, I, I did on YouTube was 14 years ago and it was a bottle of Badger's England's Gold for £1. Uh, they don't make that beer anymore. People say all the time you should re-review -re the first ever beer you ever did. Uh, but they don't make that beer anymore. It's 4.4% ABV this one. It's a dark brown bottle, which I'm quite pleased about. There was a phase where Badger put all their beers in clear glass and everything went skunky. So I'm pleased that they've gone with this decision to put their beers in dark brown bottles. Here is the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. This was part of a four for three deal. Buy three bottles, get the four for three. I think I picked it up in Tesco's. Probably about £1.80 a bottle, something like that. Badger Brewery, kind of solid. Solid in the way that kind of, they have some fantastic pubs. I'll talk about the pubs in a moment. First and foremost, let's concentrate on the beer. We've got a one finger a white head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. And it's a amber, yeah, kind of lovely deep amber coloured ale. Not much in the way of carbonate. There's a little bit of carbonation, but it's not too crazy. There's no sediment in the bottom of the glass, so it's not a bottle conditioned beer. Let's get the aroma then. Yeah, just as I remember really, kind of just How I remember Badger's beers. I used to describe them as fruity back in the day. Yeah, there's a nice hop character to this beer. British, British hop character. Little bit of biscuit malt, little bit of nuttiness. A little bit of a caramel aroma with a little bit of lemon and spiciness coming through. It smells quite good actually. Let's dive in. I haven't had a bottle of Thirsty Ferret in probably 14 years. Cheers everybody. And for what it is, I see Badger, Badger Brewery, Badger Beers, especially in the supermarkets, in the shops, they just exist. They just, they just kind of just float around, they mind their own business, they just, they just put beers in the shops. But obviously they've got a fan base. Obviously there's a level of people that buy Badger Brewery beers, otherwise they wouldn't put their beers in the supermarkets or, or Tesco's and Morrison's, the rest of the big supermarkets wouldn't stock their beers in the first place. So they've definitely got a fan base. And after that first sip, I can see why. I really can see why. <clears throat> 
little bit of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It, it, it's, it's nutty, it's biscuity, it's bready, it's hoppy. There's some nice hop characters coming through. It's a bit peppery and spicy on the back end. There's a nice balance to the beer. See, now I would call this beer a driving beer. I don't mean jumping in a car, having a couple of bottles of this and driving. I don't mean that at all. I mean like your daily driver, yeah? <coughs> yeah. I like to do a bit of gaming every now and again. And, and I could see myself getting a couple of bottles of Thirsty Ferritin on a four for three deal, sitting in front of my Xbox, playing Elden Ring, which I've been playing for two years. Can't, I'm on the last boss, I can't do the last boss. Um, but yeah, putting Elden Ring on for an hour or two and just, just having a bottle of Thirsty Ferret on the side, by the side of me, just a bit of gaming, bit of beer, not too, it's not overly expensive beer, but it's doing a decent job. It's a good kind of like weekday, weeknight, daily driver. And I'm glad to say that it seems like Badger are back from where they went. So what do I mean by that? Well, the reason why you don't see too many Badger Brewery beers on the channel, or you didn't for for quite a number of years, is because they made the decision to put all of their beers in clear glass around kind of the, the kind of like 2013 time. It was all about marketing a bottle of beer in a clear glass bottle. It was all, all, all about showing the liquid on the supermarket shelf. But the problem with that I understand the marketing aspect of it, but the problem with that is that the beer skunked, the beer skunked under the UV lights of the supermarket shelves, and of course, the daylight, the sunlight. If if you if you left that beer out for for, for an hour in the sun, not that you would, but it, it, it's definitely going to skunk with the UV the UV light. Um, Google Google light strike in beer if you want to know more about that kind of light strike and, and the situation, but. It made me, if you like, this, I don't like skunky beer whatsoever. It, it, it gave my kind of mindset a, a kind of like, oh, I'm going to give Badger a swerve a little bit. I'm not going to bother buying any more of their beers because of the beer was in clear glass. But it's really nice to see that they've made this decision now to, to go back to putting their beers in dark brown glass. I don't know how many years they've been they've decided to do that for um, but it, it, it's a really good decision because the beer's not affected by the light whatsoever it's a pretty decent pint for the money a traditional British ale it's really good and I promise to talk about Badger's pub so so Badger is a brewery they buy like really interesting pubs and they built their business on buying really historic pubs and pubs with great kind of character. And and they, you know, you want to go to a Badger pub. It's a great business model. For argument's sake, we go to Salisbury to visit family every now and again. And we always go in the new inn in Salisbury. It's a Badger pub, but it's one of those kind of like, Everything's about to fall down type of thing around you. Everything's leaning, everything's lurching. It's a really old thatched property, but it's got a fantastic sun trap of a beer garden, huge beer garden out there. And we always go to the new inn because it's probably one of the best pubs in Salisbury. And I can imagine having a few thirsty ferrets in the beer garden enjoying that yeah I mean this is pretty decent this is pretty decent it's drinkable it's your kind of Xbox in maybe listen to some music you weekday have a couple of beers type beer it's four for three in the supermarket it's relatively cheap it does the job I like that enough to give it a stone the crow seven out of ten seven out of ten from yeah, real craft I'm beer sure. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.